When you arrange your furniture in a symmetrically balanced design, it creates a peaceful and calming look to your living room. Hi everyone, it's Carol from Discover Interior Design and I'm so glad you're here. In this video, we're going to be talking about creating a symmetrically balanced living room furniture arrangement. And first of all, what is, you know, symmetrical balance or, you know, a symmetrically balanced living room furniture arrangement? Well, first of all, we can think about symmetrical balance as almost as if there was an imaginary line that we could put down the center of a furniture arrangement or some other uh, different elements in a room. And there would be a mirror image on either side of that imaginary line. And in many ways, you know, a symmetrical balanced design, something that you know, it's the same on both sides if we put a line down the center of something. It provides stability and, you know, a structure to something. And automatically, when things are kind of centered like that, they help us feel calm and, you know, give us a feeling of peacefulness just because that arrangement is, you know, kind of balanced and everything is the same visually weighted on either sides. So, you know, visual weight has to do with balance and visual weight is right. Just us looking at something and deciding if that element, a piece of furniture or, you know, a grouping of furniture looks the same, looks heavier or lighter. But when we have a symmetrically balanced furniture arrangement, you know, the visual weight is the same because, yeah, we're just, you know, almost putting down um, an imaginary line down the center and automatically it's going to be the same, you know, same visual weight. One side's not going to look heavier or one side's not going to look lighter. And so, you know, a symmetrically balanced living room furniture arrangement is a great way to just add some stability and structure to your living room. And if we think about it, you know, having a living room furniture arrangement and, you know, a couch and chairs and a coffee table and side tables and having that in a design that's symmetrical, it gives some structure, not just to that whole furniture arrangement, but also to the room. It kind of stabilizes a room because if we, you know, if we think about it in reality, our rooms are not necessarily symmetrical, you know, with the same uh, type of window centered on every single wall and everything centered. Though you may have a home like that, you know, it depends on the style of architecture of your home. But in a lot of ways, and more realistically, we have rooms where, yeah, maybe there is some symmetry going on. You know, the fireplace is centered in the wall or the windows are centered within a wall, but the rest of the room is gonna be a little bit different. And so, you know, creating a symmetrically balanced living room furniture arrangement is a great way to add some structure to a room that, you know, will have other things going on in it. And it just kind of gives some nice calmness to the room and kind of almost like a predictability in a nice way, you know, stability, predictability, and calmness to that whole room. So we're going to take a look at a couple of different examples of a symmetrical living room furniture layout. But before we do that, we're going to take a look at some things to keep in mind before we even start that process. One thing is I always think it's helpful to place your sofa first in the room, you know, deciding where you're going to place your sofa because that's you know, the focal point of that whole seating area. Plus it's a very large piece of furniture. And the other part of it is that because we are creating a symmetrical layout, we are, you know, using the sofa almost as our center point. And, you know, everything else will revolve around that sofa. So if you need some ideas on where to place your sofa in your living room, you know, take a look at my uh, video just about that, just about where to place your sofa in your living room, and I'll put the link in the description. And then after you place your sofa, 
And then you're starting to work with all of your other pieces of furniture that are going to be in that living room furniture arrangement. A couple things to keep in mind. One thing is we want to keep in mind making sure that there's plenty of room for walkways, clearance, you know, plenty of room for us to move around all of the furniture, you know, whether we have to move behind the sofa to get to another part of the room or even to get in and out of the sofa easily. And we also want to keep in mind wiggle room, which has to do with making sure that there's just enough wiggle room in between pieces of furniture. So, you know, we're not placing the end tables, for instance, right up against the sofa, you know, leaving an inch or two. So, you know, those pieces of furniture have some breathing room and um, that everything doesn't feel squished and, you know, kind of uncomfortable. So just keeping those things in mind will help you if you are, you know, working with a furniture arrangement in your living room. So let's take a look at some examples of a symmetrically balanced living room furniture layout. This first example is where we have the sofa is probably centered on a wall and then we have two identical chairs and we can place them on either side of the sofa and we probably have a coffee table and then two end tables and of course anything else around that area you know such as lamps or maybe even an area rug but that's just a really great example of arranging your furniture in a nice um stable and calm way where everything's kind of centered on the couch probably centered on the wall and there's just this nice calm look and feel to that type of arrangement and if we were going to you know draw an imaginary line down the center of that furniture arrangement well there would be a mirror image on either side and then another symmetrically balanced arrangement could be this example where we have a sofa. It could be up against a wall or out in the room and we would have two chairs um, opposite the sofa. And same thing, we could draw a line down the center of that whole arrangement and it would be a mirror image on either side, you know, the same visual weight. And, you know, that's just adding stability and calmness to that living room furniture arrangement. And then another option we can think about is maybe you have two sofas. So instead of, you know, two identical chairs, you have two sofas. Well, you know, the uh, natural thing to do would be to have those two sofas face each other. And, you know, maybe they're centered uh, down the center of that room, you know, along where the center of that fireplace is, as in this example. And right away, if we were going to, you know, place a line down the center, it's going to be a mirror image on either side. So it's a nice, nice arrangement, nice formal arrangement that, you know, gives a nice balanced look to this space. And you could even take that design, that layout a step further. Two sofas on either side, two chairs on one end and two chairs on the other end and create this even larger you know conversation seating area furniture arrangement that just kind of expands on that symmetrical design that symmetrical balance design so what about this living room furniture arrangement would we consider this to be a symmetrical layout well i think it depends on where you're looking at the grouping of furniture. When we look at it from this view, we can see that there's a sofa on one side and then two chairs on the other and then a coffee table in the center. Well, that wouldn't be maybe formally a symmetrically balanced layout because if we, you know, put an imaginary line down the center, it would be different, you know, it wouldn't be a mirror image on either side. But if we looked at the room from another vantage point, we could put an imaginary line down the center of that furniture arrangement and it would be a mirror image. So, you know, it just kind of depends sometimes on, you know, where you are in the room. And another thing to notice about this furniture arrangement is that, you know, it's working with visual weight and just because there are two chairs opposite the sofa and so if we're looking at it you know this way 
um, it's not a, you know, a formal symmetrical balanced design, but it's still balanced because there is a pretty much equal amount of visual weight on either side of, of that imaginary center line. The sofa is a very large piece of furniture with a pattern on it. So, you know, that gives it a lot of visual weight. But the other side with those two large chairs and they are in darker colors, it offsets that heaviness of the sofa and it evens it out, you know, it kind of provides a counterbalance to the sofa. So I think in a lot of ways, you know, uh, this is still a very balanced living room furniture arrangement. So what are a couple things to keep in mind about symmetrically balanced design and layout with your living room furniture? Well, just keep in mind that, you know, using a symmetrically balanced design where everything is kind of centered around a central access, whether that is the sofa or everything's centered around a fireplace or a window, and you could draw a line down the center and would be a mirror image on either side. That sort of arrangement is very calming and it provides a stable look to a room and that calms us down. And so, you know, when you want to kind of have your room or an area in a room look and feel calming and peaceful, you know, symmetrically balanced living room furniture layouts are a way to do that. And I'd love to hear from you you know, in your living room, do you have a symmetrically balanced living room furniture arrangement? You know, please share your design ideas and suggestions in the comments of how you have your living room furniture arrangement set up. And I want to thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.